Hi everyone, this is Michael Zugo with Remax Premier. During today's video, we are addressing our current market and we're addressing the holdover clause, which is found in our typical listing agreement as well as buyer agency agreement. So on a year over year basis, the quantity of sales has dropped by 15%. Our average days on market is at 27 days, whereas before it was at 24, and our average price has increased by 3.5%. Although the issue with the average price is it really doesn't take into consideration the fact that it could have just been that less homes in the luxury market were listed and sold, or it could have just been the fact that there were maybe more homes which were in a lower price bracket which is sold. And uh, a very common misconception is that homes do not sell during the month of December. So I went back and looked at the stats of December 2017, where there were 1,950 detached homes which had sold, which is only 38% less than what we experienced last month of November, that's 2018. So homes certainly do sell during the month of December. I've personally got seven properties on the market right now, and boy, we are uh, much more busy than I had expected. And now to address the holdover clause, which is found in the listing agreement that very often people are asking me, um, let's say you sign a listing agreement and the listing expires. In the event that you opt to sell the property privately, if you sell your home to somebody who, to a buyer who had already seen the property through the previous listing agent, whether they scheduled a viewing, whether they went to an open house, or even just had a conversation on the phone with your listing agent, then you'd be entitled to pay that previous agent a commission. Although in the event that you list your property with somebody else when the contract expires, the holdover does not apply as long as the commission is at the same percentage or more. However, if you list with one agent at 5% and you list with the next agent at 4%, then the holdover would apply. You are, you are entitled to pay the previous agent a little bit of commission, but that information really does go beyond the scope of this video. If you have questions about it, just call me. And similarly for the buyer representation agreement, because there's a holdover, well, a holdover clause with that as well. So I hope you all found this information useful. As always, if you're considering buying, selling, investing, even if you have questions, I'd love to hear from you. It's Michael Dougal, 416-671. 5218. And hey, if you can think of anyone that may as well find this information helpful, just uh, forward the link over to them, maybe forward the email. Don't forget to click like, click subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Until then, happy holidays.